Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for today, Saturday 30, the December the 30th, if you're watching in real time, and I'm doing it the day of. I usually do it day before. I'll do your 31st reading as well today, but uh, yesterday was quite busy, but I have a little time today to do your daily dust, so let's get into it as fast as we can. We have the Enchanted Romance Tarot, which I created. And this one, I really like this edition. It has this beautiful rainbow edge, silvery rainbow. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna pull from the middle three cards. Okay, we have the Three of Wands. I don't normally read reversals, but we can consider this because it's the timing card or waiting card. We can say maybe something takes a little longer than usual, but <laughs> patience and waiting and something in the on the horizon ready to show up. Maybe this particular day just mean, feels like a nice long languid day. Like you, you may have time for leisure or sewing or knitting or something pleasurable and, and just relax. Let's see what else we get. We have the wheel. So the wheel of fortune is wonderful. It's like um, a really happy, lucky energy, good fortune. Maybe try playing the lottery or something today. You never know what could happen. Or maybe playing bingo or something like that. The wheel does represent whatever you put in, you get received, you know, as above, so below. Let's see what else. And we have the nine of wands. So let me zoom on in and see what else we get. Wands is, is waiting for some kind of opportunity and having the expectation of it, but having also patience as it arrives. It could be uh, what you put into this. It's interesting because my sister was talking about getting a car and I was like, maybe not during retrograde, Mercury retrograde is such a good idea, but you should, certainly can like really do your research. So starting th doing things with RE that start with RE is the greatest thing to do during retrograde. And so research and really get into visualizing what you want like what you know what what you think would be a good idea but don't take any like impulsive action right now like put a lot of thought into this and a lot of brainstorming and ideas and vision work and to to really manifest this because this is going to be a, like a long-term thing and so you want to make sure that it's nothing that you do in a hasty way and so yeah it's a good planning and and exploration even it's kind of like i i hear the word scouting like where somebody goes ahead to check out things before before a group of people go ahead you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like um yeah, doing the research, doing the prep work, doing the scouting, and prep work too. I I, I hear, and I see um, the chopping of the of vegetables and things like that. All the prep work that goes into like a recipe before you create something. So it's a lot of that kind of stuff. It's it's just the before stuff before the action. And so basically, don't take any actions today. Any big actions. Just be very laid back today <laughs> and um but you will be rewarded for that for that kind of effort because that kind of effort will bring you the good luck if you feel like you've been unlucky um the luck comes in these kind of um these kind of little small paybacks for sort of feeling the room or going with the energy understanding the the mood and 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 how to work with the possibilities instead of working against them or sometimes pushing a certain agenda so hard you know that it you know it's like a stubbornness you know you're being stubborn and you know you want you're wanting something so bad and wanting to do something and you're pushing pushing too much that pushing is trying to tell you that this is a bad timing for it if it if it when it goes a little bit smoother then you know that's the timing that for this action that you want to take so if you're feeling a push back at all or if you're feeling more of a um, a rough struggle or some kind of not so such an easy flow then it's either the wrong timing the wrong thing that you need to do to achieve a goal or it's just it's just a matter of finding the right balance in the moment 
because I feel like you're going to be rewarded once you figure that out and you'll be rewarded with great abundance it, it it's just um it's also just kind of like the night you know cycle natural cycle of life and when the wheel comes out I do think of mercury retrograde how the effect of its movement will cause certain situations to be different and the way you handle that situation might have to be a little bit different than what you normally do so just keep that in mind um, but it, it's also the the representing the planet Jupiter so generally good luck good luck in anything that you do so even if it's a difficult situation it won't feel so difficult it's just sort of minor in the big scheme of things and the nine of wands is you know this kind of homecoming energy it feels like the wounded warrior somebody who might be sick or injured um, is coming through here and so just you know be aware of dealing with with that kind of problem in in families or friends you know if somebody's a little feeling a little tired or weak or whatever keep that in mind in your plans and make sure that those people have comfort and um, they're you, you know you're not getting them to push themselves too far or if it's you don't try to push yourself too much if if you're feeling a little worn out or tired so this is a good time to rest and and in, in by doing so, you, you'll get a second wind. But if you don't rest, you might wear yourself out a little bit too much. You've completed a phase, and successfully so, and it's been really, a, really great what you did. So now you're allowed to kind of take a look at everything that you've done and wait for a second wave of energy to come through so you can keep going. But you don't have to keep going and going and going. You could take a little pause. Nine of Wands is about you know just just um just t you know kind of taking a look around it's patience again like all three cards kind of brings up this patience energy a little bit of caution too um it represents loyalty and vigilance and strength and devotion and duty and you know even if you've been through a lot you have you know you, you've got a lot more to give you just need a little rest today <laughs> all right so take it easy today don't push yourself too hard um the the right opportunity will come, the timing will come, but it may not be today that you're supposed to act on anything. Today, I feel like your fortune will come if you just um, have sort of a moderate day and not push yourself too far or too much, okay? So I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Mm -hmm.